Pythagoras theorem example two. This time it wants us to find the length of x correct to two decimal places. And this one's a little different because x this time is not the hypotenuse. If we look here, um, hypotenuse is actually 13, so we'll label that as C. We'll label X as A and 8 as B. Really doesn't matter which one you label as A and B. Okay, now in our formula, we have C squared equals A squared plus B squared. And I want you to really think about what we're doing here when we plus. Whenever we add something together, we get a result that is bigger than before. Adding makes things bigger. But because we're trying to find what is essentially a shorter side, a side which is less than 13, we actually need to change this to a subtraction. So we're going to do a little arrangement of the formula and we're going to go, all right, if x is a, essentially we're trying to find a. So we want to say a squared equals something. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to take c squared and we're going to take away b squared because we know that when we subtract it will make something smaller which is what we want it's a shorter side it needs to be made smaller okay so a is our x value c is 13 and b is 8 so essentially we've done the same thing we've got the numbers here except instead of adding them we're subtracting them making sure that your hypotenuse or your larger number is on the left hand side. All right, let's work this out. 13 squared minus 8 squared, which gives me 105. All right, and we don't want x squared, we want to find what x is, which means we have to square root 105, and the square root of 105 to two decimal places when I round it is 10.25 and we put that as centimeters and it's good to just have a quick look and just see if it makes sense and what you're really looking for is to make sure that this side is less than 13 if it ended up being more than 13 you know you're wrong because the hypotenuse always has to be the longest side so that's done